hello welcome back this is my second tutorial on Ajax and in this tutorial we will make the application a simple Ajax application so what we are going to do is uh, first of all I have the basic markup made up so I don't waste any time on it and uh, what will happen is I will click on this button and the request will be sent to this server uh, and the file that will be uh, the content that will be returned from the server uh, we will add up it uh, add up uh, uh, that content in this diff so the, the initial markup looks like this I have some styles and the button has a uh, event handler the event is on click and the event handler is ajax this function uh, should be defined in JavaScript so what we are going to do is first of all we are going to define this function in the in the JavaScript part of the web page and uh, the uh, ajax object of JavaScript is known as XML HTTP request object so there are two types of uh, ajax objects first one is for uh, this one xml http request is for uh, firefox only and the next one is for uh, active x object is for microsoft uh, internet explorer so you have to uh, you have to assign uh, both of these variables uh, both of these objects to your variable because uh, so your application can work on both browsers so uh, so this means that if it is Firefox then initialize our uh, XML HTTP object with this object uh, or if uh, it is Internet Explorer then initialize it with this object because if uh, we if, uh, suppose if you don't write this one and uh, this is not supported by Internet Explorer so we won't get any object so we have the object now so in case the browser doesn't support Ajax at all you have to check it also so that won't mess up your application so you can check that by using the uh, by checking the type of the object so if none of these objects are in initialized uh, to our variable then it, it will be it will have the undefined type so if it is then we will simply alert the user that your browser doesn't support ajax now we go back to our object so then again you have to initialize your variable with this object you cannot directly use this one because this is just to get the uh, correct version of the uh, Ajax object so when you get it you can uh, initialize by using the new keyword so we have it now and uh, uh, there is a event handler dot uh, call dot on ready state change which is an event handler for this Ajax object and uh, we will see it uh, just in a moment and uh, when you have the object then you can uh, initialize the uh, connection by using the xml http dot open method this method contains the method you want to use of uh, the request method you want to use we will use the cat method the second argument of this method is the absolute path to the file you want to send request to so our file is on my ajax folder and it is names.txt and the third argument is for the asynchronous if you want the response to be asynchronous you put true or you put false for it uh, to be synchronous so the differences between is uh, synchronous and synchronous is uh, that uh, if you put false here then 
then the script will pass until you get the response from the server so if you put true then the if there is any other code to be executed it will be executed so and the send method contains null if you are using get if you are using post then it contains the content uh, as you are using get you can send the content if you wish by putting the query string and uh, doing it as normally you would do to send the get data so we have the uh, event handler we have sent initializer uh, request and we have sent it by using send and uh, then we come back to our already state change uh, event handler this event handler function will be executed every time the ready state property changes so there is a ready state property first of all let me write it if xml http dot ready state property ready state equals 4 so what happens is when you uh, send your request using this object there's a property that changes changes its value automatically according to what are you doing at that time so when we were here when we were uh, using the open open method it had the value 1 0 means when the request is not totally initialized when it is initialized the ready state turns 4 uh, 1 sorry ready state turns 1 when you initialize your request then ready state turns 4 uh, turns 2 when you are sending it and when uh, you are receiving the content it turns 3 and when you have totally uh, you have loaded the response from the server then it turns 4 then uh, this means 4 means that you have totally uh, received the content you have re uh, requested for so we have the content in this part in this xml ready state is equal 4 remember you have to put it in the on ready state chain because uh, it will be checked every time this uh, uh, the ready state changes so we come back in this part and uh, we will simply write that uh, our response is equal to now the other important property is called response text now this property will contain the response from the server and uh, we have initialized another variable with it and uh, we will simply populate our a response div by using the element by id and the response is the id of that div and using the inner html property we can assign the content to it so we simply write response so we have made our uh, document application save it we go back to our application we refresh it and uh, yes it is loaded now we send a request and we got the response now this 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 content is received by the uh, is the content of this file which was received uh, using the uh, xml http request object it requested this page and the content was sent as a response back to the client so this is a simple example uh, there is a restriction also you, uh, when you use this object you cannot send a uh, request to any other host you have to send the request to the host the uh, file is uh, the, the, the requesting file is present like this file is on the local host which is sending the request this index.html so and uh, name dot, dot names dot text is also on the same host uh, we cannot send suppose we cannot send request to hotmail.com or yahoo.com uh, you are rest restricted to only send request to your host uh, so this is uh, the get method next tutorial we will see the post method also and we will use the forms and stuff so you can get the idea of forms contents uh, get through the ajax object to your files on the server thank you for watching this tutorial